doing this inside? I see you. You sounded so spooked on the phone. Well, you know how mad we thought Mr. Manning was going to be once he found Star was gone? Yeah. Well, it was worse than that. It was mental. He stormed in here, got all in my face. Did he hurt you? No, but he yelled loudly and then took off. Well, off to where? I don't know. I just wish I could get in touch with Star and Cole and tell them that Mr. Manning knows now and they need to be more careful. You think Star and Cole don't know what he's like? Of course, but Star doesn't have a cell phone and I'm just stuck here freaking out. What? What? You know where they are. No, I don't. You know something. Marco, if you don't tell me right now, I swear I'm never talking to you again. I, I know how to reach them. Do you know where they are? No, I told you I don't. But Cole did something really smart before he left. Gave me this. It's prepaid, so it's untraceable. So this is like our bat phone? In case of emergency, yeah. Anything happens, we can call Star and Cole, and no one will know. I just can't help thinking about how Mr. Manning spent all those months tracking down Mrs. McBain and his son. I mean, no matter what she did, he found her. This dude does not give up. Yeah, I know. Marco, you did not see him. Star's dad is out for blood, and all he thinks they did was run away. What is he going to do if he finds out Star's pregnant? Do you think we should use the bad phone to let them know that Star's parents found out she was missing this morning? No. No, Colby, it was only a matter of time. Why didn't I think of something better to stall them? Hey, hey, what could you do? They're her parents. They want to see their own kid. The way I see it, you, you saved Star and Cole like 12 hours. You're going to call them, aren't you? This isn't how it was supposed to be. <laughs> Cole? Okay, we both said that we were going to ditch our cell phones. It's, what are you thinking? It's a prepaid. I got one for Marco, one for myself in case something came up. Then answer it. Marco. Yeah, yeah it's me. Uh, no emergency, but I just wanted to let you know it's Command Central here at La Boulay. Okay, so they know? Yeah, and they're tripping hardcore. But but nobody knows where to look for you guys yet, so you're okay. Give me the phone. Nicole, uh, Alexis wants to talk to Star. Langston? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? Uh, so, how's Cole holding up? Um, he's okay. You know, he's actually being really great. He made sure that everything is totally set up for us. He actually just ran out to go get me some ginger ale because I'm feeling queasy. Hey, you want to tell her how our family's doing? Could you let my mom know that I'm alright? I, I could, but if I got back to your dad and then he figured out... You're right. Don't say anything. What about Jack? Does... Does he know? Langston, are you in there? Go, go what are you doing in Star's room? I was just trying to find a clue as to where she might have gone. Mm -hmm. What did you just put in that bag? I asked you a question. What did you just put in that bag? Nothing. Sit. Okay, is it true that you knew that Star was going to run away with Cole and that you prevented her family from finding out? May I ask why? Star's like a sister to me and she needed my help. In order to run away? She thought she didn't have any other choice. You know, I really think... No, no. I really had hoped that when I moved you in here, when I made you a part of our family, that you would learn something. That there is always a choice. And that no matter what, no one, especially not a child, needs to be alone. Star doesn't think she's a child. Nonetheless, she is a minor. Who did what she thought she had to do? With your help. I 
You're gonna give me back? Excuse me? That's why you brought it up. Becoming my guardian. You're mad now and you want to give me back. It's, it's fine. I understand. If anything happened to you, I would be as devastated as Blair is right this minute. Because you're irreplaceable. And I know that you find all of my rules and questions tedious, but really I'm just doing it to safeguard you. So I'm going to ask you one more time. What did you put in that bag? I told you, nothing. So I guess you wouldn't mind if I looked. Yeah, go, go right ahead. Why? What's so important about this book? I think it's just... It's book. just... It's just a book about pregnancy. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. I'm sorry, man. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own with this. Congratulations, Nana. She ran away. That's not my fault! Yes. I blame you. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on Soap.